Welcome back to The Kitchen Table. Uh, today on The Kitchen Table, a new well-known company enters the UAV market. Well, ish, anyway. Uh, but first, before we do our news on The Kitchen Table, uh, let's have a beverage of the day then. Uh, Costa Cappuccino for coffee lovers out there. Thank you very much. Lovely. Right, so a new manufacturer has entered the market of sorts for UAVs. Microsoft have decided to throw their penny into the pot for UAVs, but not really. What they've done is they've created and released a simulator for drone pilots uh, to help them destroying their aircraft every time they go out and fly whilst running experiments called AirSim. Uh, the simulator for drones has been built on an Unreal Engine, which means it's open source as well. It's been designed as a platform for artificial intelligence to take data to learn from. The platform allows the use of current flight controllers simulating actual physical controls. So you can use a select amount of real controllers to fly your simulated UAV. Um, a Linux build of the new AirSim is due very soon. Uh, the project actually is called Aerial Informatic and Robotics Platform and says that the simulator uses up-to-the-date graphics to, and I quote, simulate the physics and perceptions such that the environment realistically reflects the actual world, which I think in English means that it's like it should be. Uh, the project also includes a vast library of UAVs such as DJI models, and avoids the need for developers to have to write their own code for new aircraft. So the idea is you will actually find a UAV that you fly and you can use that and so it's like flying. Um, you can download the software which is free just there on the link below. But what do you think of it? Is it good? Is it new? Is it bad? Have Microsoft missed the boat on this? Uh, we've obviously seen simulators from Unique in the past where you have a USB stick that you stick in your computer and then you can go and fly on your keyboard. They've had it a number of shows. It's good fun. But is it any good? Or Microsoft jumping in as the boats disappeared out the harbour? Is it just a gimmick? Um, let us know. Leave a comment down below. And uh, that's it. That's the news on the kitchen table this week. I've been Barry. Thanks very much, Need, for watching. And we'll be back with more news very soon on the kitchen table.